Community Link, presented by Financial Center First Credit Union. Thank you for joining us on this week, Community Link. I'm Marco Domingo. And I'm Caroline Mays Medley. A mind is a terrible thing to waste, but a wonderful thing to invest in. That is the well known motto of the nation's largest and most effective minority education organization, the United Negro College Fund. Joining Community Link today from UNCF is Andrea Neely. Welcome. Thank you. So we all know that motto well. Tell us about some of the initiatives, and the, the, actually the mission and the goals of UNCF. UNCF in its 75 years of being young has a commitment of supporting its 37 historically black colleges and universities that are private. Uh, in addition to um, supporting students to go to college of their choice as well as HBCUs and during that time um, raised close to five billion dollars uh, wow. for UNCF and supporting close to a half a million students to go to and through college not only at our private membered schools but also schools such as um, you know here in Indiana. That's great. Tell us about the impact of locally and, and nationwide please. Well the impact locally is um, one of the projects that UNCF has celebrated, which is really focusing on getting students to align their degrees with the workforce. Mm -hmm. In 2015, UNCF received a $50 million grant um, from the Lilly Endowment to really work with HBCUs focused on those students coming into their freshman year to identify the career path with, the again, aligning their degrees with the demand in the workforce and so it really speaks to um, UNCF's ability to bring the diversity uh, as well um, to, to the workplace. Andrea, the Career Path Initiative is one of the newer initiatives, but what are some of the other major initiatives of UNCF? So for locally, um, in particular, are the, the scholarship programs that we have throughout the state. So in Northwest Indiana, we have uh, a scholarship program as well as in Fort Wayne and Evansville, really targeting towards those, again, first generation families and students who want to, one, stay in Indiana as well as attend an HBCU of their choice. So it's really having an impact statewide that our scholarship and internship programs are really helping students um, identify their career path, mm. such as the program we have with Anthem um, Corporate Scholars. Students are identified their junior and senior year of college. They're given a paid internship with a scholarship with the goal of placement and employment upon graduation. And so those are some of those grassroots opportunities that UNCF continues to make available with the focus of understanding to and through college. That is awesome. Briefly, tell us about the annual fundraising that we're going to have pretty soon. Well, um, <laughs> come join us on February 12th and enjoy the, you know, the platform at uh, events.gives backslash UNCF Indy, and you will come and go down memory lane when UNCF used to host the, the Parade of Stars with Lou Rawls um, at the famous Madam C.J. Walker. And so you had everyone coming in the community to give. Um, we've got great pictures of, of um, Bill Mays and Congresswoman Carson when they were on the stage making those contributions really in support of UNCF's mission. That's great. Great event coming up. Thank you, Andrea, for all that you're doing to help students. Well, um, it takes a community to do that. And thank you, Indianapolis community, for your investment in the mission of UNCF. Great. Thank you. Now, for more information on how COVID-19 is affecting our state's Latino population, here's Community Link's Gloria Jimenez. Latinos are more likely to be hospitalized with COVID-19. Many Latinos are hesitant to get a COVID-19 vaccine. Community members want to hear from doctors. They want to hear from healthcare workers, too. They also want to hear from individuals in their own community that are seeing them. To build trust, the Indiana Latino Expo has created a YouTube video describing doctors' experience getting the COVID-19 vaccine. Check out our YouTube channel, Indiana Latino Expo, to see it. Remember, Hoosiers 65 and older can now register for COVID-19 vaccine online. Visit rshot.in.gov. For Community Link, I'm Gloria Jimenez. Thank you so much for joining us today. This was your weekly community link. To share this segment or learn more, head to wishtv.com. Bye-bye.